Well, the other day I was watching one of these uh, survival shows, and uh, basically the idea of the show was uh, this couple went on safari, and they drove off the road, and their car broke down, and they had to survive out in the wilderness. Well, you know, a little bit later in the show, they decided they had to make fire. So what do they do? Well, they grab two sticks and make fire. Instead of using anything on the car, they use two sticks. And I thought, you know, through the whole show, wow, there's probably about a million ways you could have made fire with what was on the vehicle. So I figured I'd show you, you know, a few ways you could do that because they didn't even go there in the show. Um, first way, probably the easiest way, is if you've got a fully charged battery, just go ahead and uh, push in the cigarette lighter. I mean, that <laughs> it doesn't get much more simple than that right there. But let's say that don't work, or you don't have one in your car, whatever it is, what else can you do? Well, there's more than one way to skin a cat. All right, so what's the second easiest way to start a fire? Jumper cables. They make nice sparks. And you can start a fire pretty easy with them. Now, uh, most people carry uh, jumper cables in their car when they go out, so odds are if you're smart, you'll have jumper cables with you and you can get a pretty good spark with those. Easy way to start fire. Now another fun way to start fire is with a light bulb. Uh, this one's uh, out of a turn signal, but you can use turn signal, headlight, brake light, running lights, um, even the dome light. And what you do is you take it out. I usually like to take the, uh, the brake lights out because they have the longest uh, amount of wire. And then you uh, strip the wire. Obviously you can use your teeth to do this. Not the best for your teeth, but you can do it. And then you'll want to take the light bulb and you want to check it and see which two wires will actually light it up. I've already done that. And it's those two. Now what you got to do is break the bulb. Now most cars come with uh, one of these tire irons. What you want to do is break the bulb so that you uh, don't wreck the filament inside. I don't know if you can see that in there, but you don't want to break that because that's what's going to start your fire. You break your bulb. I'm just going to set it in here because it's easier to work with. And then you're going to find something that catches fire. I happen to have a bunch of this uh, crap in my shop. Tumbleweeds are blown in. <clears throat> I'm just going to set that on there. You can take your two leads, touch them to the battery, and hopefully we'll get fire. There we go. The easiest pie. This is uh, my favorite way to do it. It's kind of fun. Um, I'll show you how to reset that in a minute here. Now I actually didn't break the filament in this one so I can reuse this one again. But uh, let's say the filament burnt out of it. What you can do, as I've already done, is uh, take a piece of wire and strip it down so that you get a nice thin strand. And then you're going to want to cut it to whatever size you want. Just a little piece. Rubbing it against a, a piece of metal usually works pretty good. There we go. And then, while it's not connected to the battery, obviously, you want to wind it around both of these. Not obviously that close, but wind it around those and make a little filament out of this wire. And that will also burn. Now, another good way to make fire is to take a bare copper wire and uh, take maybe half a dozen strands or so and see if you can separate it. Separate out uh, about that many if you can. Sometimes it's sort of tricky. But uh, once you get those separated, you can then take them and twist them together and make one big strand. Now I'm going to get uh, a couple more strands and then we'll come back and I'll uh, twist them together and I'll show you what we're going to do. Alright, I've got about a half a dozen strands here put together. I put a loop in one end 
and that gives me something to put up to either stick through or whatever. Now I'm doing this the easy way. You can do this by hand, but uh, I'm just going to do it like this. This is a bit easier. And the goal is to get a nice tight wind so all the strands come together like what? One big solid piece of wire. Now once you've got that, take the back end, fold it over, and twist it up so that uh, on both ends you have a nice fat piece of wire. And that's what you're going to connect your uh, jumper cables to, or pieces of wire, or whatever you've got. And now I'm just going to make a coil out of it, out of the uh, smaller piece. I'm just going to wrap around there a few times, like that, because the way I'm doing it, I'm using jumper cables. And I'm just going to stretch it out a little bit. And then I'm going to go. We're going to go over to the jumper cables and the car battery, and I'll show you how to start the fire. Well, now hopefully you'll be able to see this real good. I'm going to go ahead and plug the jumper cables in, and we should have fire. There we go. We have made fire. I want to put that out so it doesn't burn my yard down, but there you go. That's another way to do it. Another good way to start a fire if your vehicle is still running, um, maybe you broke a transmission, broke an axle, whatever, the truck still runs, the car still runs, whatever. You can take off one of these spark plug wires here, and you can slide this boot off of it, and hold it there while the truck's running. Obviously you don't want to pull it off while it's running, because trust me, it hurts. But you can hold it there, maybe wrap a, wrap a sock or something around this, so you don't have to grab right on it, and hold it close to the metal, somewhere on the ground and uh, that'll create a spark and hopefully you'll be able to get fire with that windy day like this maybe not probably blow it away but even if the vehicle doesn't run if you have one of these roundy coils these are real easy to work on you can do the same thing all you got to do is uh, one side's labeled battery run a wire from that to the positive side of the battery and this one, you want to ground out, either on the battery or somewhere on the frame. And that will produce a spark off of the wire. Now this, is, this one's been taken apart, but you can use a full one. And hold it close, and uh, tap this one, one end back and forth, on and off, and that'll create a spark at that end. Also, if the vehicle's running, <coughs> there are a few pieces that get very hot. The exhaust is one of them which is actually on the other side on this truck, but you get my drift. And the catalytic converter on the bottom gets very, very hot. Right there, that shielded thing. So if you can get that really hot, and you can stuff some hot, uh, some dry grass in there, it might just light. Um, one good way to get that particular part of the exhaust really, really hot is to pull off a spark plug wire on these fuel injected vehicles because what that'll do is that will uh, <clears throat> stop uh, one of the cylinders from combusting and it'll shove raw gas into the exhaust and that'll get burned up in the catalytic converter and uh, I've seen them get really really hot like glowing hot so you should be able to start a fire from that all right now you're probably seeing to yourself well that's all well and good but all the ways you showed me how to make fire uh, require the battery to be fully charged or at least have a charge so let's say your alternator went out and that's why you can't get it going anywhere um, there are other ways to make electricity one way is this uh, motor now there's several motors on the car there's fan motors seat belt or uh, seat belt uh, electric power seat motors window motors all sorts of different motors and what you can do is you can actually spin these to produce electricity. Now I'm using a very small bulb because I won't get a whole lot of electricity from this, but uh, I'm going to show you, just to prove it to you, to you that it works. I'm going to go ahead and set you up here, and hopefully you'll be able to see that light light up. Yeah, I'm going to get you a little bit closer. There we go. Now. 
hopefully you'll be able to see it. But I'm going to go ahead and spin this, this fan if I can here. See if I can get the light up. Well, there's a little bit. Now, and that's the reason I'm using the smallest bulb because it's got a small filament. It doesn't take much to get it hot. I'm just spinning that with my finger. But if you took uh, took a piece of uh, wire, or and you broke these uh, fins off, wrapped the wire around there like a uh, lawnmower, and you pulled it, you could really get it going and break the bulb just like I showed you before. Fire. Uh, works with blower motors too. This one uh, works the same way. Get this thing spinning pretty fast, and uh, you'll have electricity to start a fire. Well, I hope it wasn't too windy out there, um, <clears throat> and you can hear everything and see everything just fine. Uh, but yeah, that's a few ways you can make fire with uh, nothing but a vehicle, um, and maybe a set of jumper cables. Uh, there's probably lots of ways to do it that I didn't think of, so uh, if you think of anything, uh, go ahead and make a video response, or uh, you know, add it in the comments there, and see how many ways we can get to start a fire with... Uh, Basically just a vehicle or maybe things you would have in a vehicle. Now the wind's picking up again. I think it's going to storm. So I don't know why you'd want to start a fire today anyway. It's like 90 degrees. But uh, if you got any ideas, uh, leave them below. And uh, maybe I'll come up with some other stuff to do with cars. <laughs>